Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Accelerations in special relativity, SR, follow, as in Newtonian mechanics, by differentiation of velocity with respect to time. Because of the Lorentz transformation and time dilation, the concepts of time and distance become more complex, which also leads to more complex definitions of acceleration. SR as the theory of flat Minkowski spacetime remains valid in the presence of accelerations because general relativity, GR, is only required when there is curvature of spacetime caused by the energy momentum tensor, which is mainly determined by mass. However, since the amount of spacetime curvature is not particularly high on Earth or its vicinity, SR remains valid for most practical purposes, such as experiments in particle accelerators. One can derive transformation formulas for ordinary accelerations in three spatial dimensions, three acceleration or coordinate acceleration, as measured in an external inertial frame of reference, as well as for the special case of proper acceleration measured by a commoving accelerometer. Another useful formalism is for acceleration, as its components can be connected in different inertial frames by a Lorentz transformation. Also, equations of motion can be formulated which connect acceleration and force. Equations for several forms of acceleration of bodies and their curved world lines follow from these formulas by integration. Well-known special cases are hyperbolic motion for constant longitudinal proper acceleration or uniform circular motion. Eventually, it is also possible to describe these phenomena in accelerated frames in the context of special relativity. See proper reference frame, flat spacetime. In such frames, effects arise which are analogous to homogeneous gravitational fields, which have some formal similarities to the real, inhomogeneous gravitational fields of curved spacetime in general relativity. In the case of hyperbolic motion, one can use Rindler coordinates. In the case of uniform circular motion, one can use Born coordinates. Concerning the historical development, relativistic equations containing accelerations can already be found in the early years of relativity, as summarized in early textbooks by Max von Lau, 1911, 1921, or Wolfgang Pauli, 1921. For instance, equations of motion and acceleration transformations were developed in the papers of Hendrik Antoon Lorentz, 1899-1904, Henri Poincaré, 1905, Albert Einstein, 1905, Max Planck, 1906, and for acceleration, proper acceleration, hyperbolic motion, accelerating reference frames, born rigidity, have been analyzed by Einstein, 1907. Hermann Minkowski, 1907. 1908, Max Born, 1909, Gustav Herglotz, 1909, Arnold Sommerfeld, 1910, Von Lau, 1911, Friedrich Kotler, 1912, 1914, see section on history. Three acceleration in accordance with both Newtonian mechanics and SR, three acceleration or coordinate acceleration A equals AX, AY, AZ is the first derivative of velocity u equals ux, uy, uz, with respect to coordinate time, or the second derivative of the location r equals x, y, z, with respect to coordinate time. a equals du dt equals d2, r dt2. However, the theories sharply differ in their predictions in terms of the relation between three accelerations measured in different inertial frames. In Newtonian mechanics, Time is absolute by t equals t in accordance with the Galilean transformation. Therefore, the three acceleration derived from it is equal to in all inertial frames. A equals a. On the contrary, in SR, both r and t depend on the Lorentz transformation. Therefore, also three acceleration a and its components vary in different inertial frames. When the relative velocity between the frames is directed in the x direction by v equals vx with gamma v equals 1 slash 1 minus v2 slash c2 is Lorentz factor. The Lorentz transformation has the form or for arbitrary velocities v equals vx, vy, vz of magnitude v equals v. In order to find out the transformation of three acceleration, one has to differentiate the spatial coordinates r and r of the Lorentz transformation with respect to t and t from which the transformation of three velocity, also called velocity addition formula, between u and u follows, and eventually by another differentiation with respect to t and t, the transformation of three acceleration between a and a follows. Starting from 1a, 
This procedure gives the transformation where the accelerations are parallel, x direction, or perpendicular, y dash, z direction, to the velocity, or starting from 1b. This procedure gives the result for the general case of arbitrary directions of velocities and accelerations. This means, if there are two inertial frames S and S with relative velocity V, then in S the acceleration of an object with momentary velocity U is measured, while in S, the same object has an acceleration and has the momentary velocity U. As with the velocity addition formulas, also these acceleration transformations guarantee that the resultant speed of the accelerated object can never reach or surpass the speed of light. For acceleration if four vectors are used instead of three vectors, namely r is four position and u is four velocity, then the four acceleration a equals a t, a x, a y, a z equals a t, a r of an object is obtained by differentiation with respect to proper time. Tau instead of coordinate time, whereas the object's three acceleration and u its momentary three velocity of magnitude u equals u with the corresponding Lorentz factor gamma equals one slash one minus u two slash c two. If only the spatial part is considered, and when the velocity is directed in the x direction by u equals u x and only accelerations parallel, x direction, or perpendicular, y dash z direction, to the velocity are considered. The expression is reduced to a r equals a gamma 4, gamma 2, gamma 2. Unlike the three acceleration previously discussed, it is not necessary to derive a new transformation for four acceleration, because as with all four vectors, the components of a and a in two inertial. Frames with relative speed v are connected by a Lorentz transformation analogous to 1a, 1b. Another property of four vectors is the invariance of the inner product a2 equals minus a t2 plus a r2 or its magnitude a equals a2, which gives in this case. Proper acceleration in infinitesimal small durations, there is always one inertial frame, which momentarily has the same velocity as the accelerated body, and in which the Lorentz transformation holds. The corresponding three acceleration a0 equals a x0, a y0, a z zero. In these frames can be directly measured by an accelerometer and is called proper acceleration or rest acceleration. The relation of a zero in a momentary inertial frame S and a measured in an external inertial frame S follows from 1C, 1D, with A equals a zero, U equals zero, U equals V, and gamma equals gamma V. So in terms of 1C, when the velocity is directed in the x direction by u equals u x equals v equals v x, and when only accelerations parallel, x direction, or perpendicular, y dash, z direction, to the velocity are considered, it follows, generalized by 1d, for arbitrary directions of u of magnitude u equals u, a 0 equals gamma 2, a plus cu, u u 2, gamma minus 1, a equals 1 gamma 2, a 0 minus, a 0 u, U U two one minus one gamma. There is also a close relationship to the magnitude of four acceleration, as it is invariant. It can be determined in the momentary inertial frame S, in which A R equals a zero, and by D T slash D tau equals one, it follows D two T slash D tau two equals A T equals zero. Thus, the magnitude of four acceleration corresponds to the magnitude of proper acceleration. By combining this with two B. An alternative method for the determination of the connection between a zero and s, and a and s is given, namely a zero equals a equals gamma four, a two plus gamma two, uac, two from which three a, follows again when the velocity is directed in the x direction by u equals ux, and only accelerations parallel, x direction, or perpendicular, y dash, z direction two. The velocity are considered, acceleration and, force assuming constant mass m. The 4 force f as a function of 3 force f is related to 4 acceleration, 2a, by f equals ma. Thus, the relation between 3 force and 3 acceleration for arbitrary directions of the velocity is thus when the velocity is directed in the x direction by u equals ux and only accelerations parallel, x direction, or perpendicular, y dash, z direction, to the velocity are considered therefore the Newtonian. Definition of mass as the ratio of three force and three acceleration is disadvantageous in SR because such a mass would depend both on velocity and direction. Consequently, 
The following mass definitions used in older textbooks are not used anymore. M equals F X A X equals M gamma. 3 as longitudinal mass. M uptack equals F Y A Y equals F Z A Z equals M gamma as transverse mass. The relation, 4B, between 3 acceleration and 3 force can also be obtained from the equation of motion where P is the 3 momentum. The corresponding transformation of 3 force between F and S and F and S, when the relative velocity between the frames is directed in the X direction by V equals VX and only accelerations parallel, X direction, or perpendicular, Y dash Z direction, to the velocity are considered, follows by substitution of the relevant transformation formulas for U, A, M gamma D, M gamma, slash DT, or from the Lorentz. Transform components of four force with the result or generalize for arbitrary directions of U, as well as V with magnitude V equals V. Proper acceleration and proper force, the force F0 in a momentary inertial frame measured by a commoving spring balance can be called proper force. It follows from 4E for F by setting F equals F0 and U equals 0, as well as U equals V and gamma equals gamma V. Thus by 4E where only accelerations parallel, x direction, or perpendicular, y dash, z direction, to the velocity u equals ux equals v equals vx are considered. Generalized by, for f, for arbitrary directions of u of magnitude u equals u, f0 equals f gamma minus, f u, u u2 gamma minus 1, f equals f0 gamma plus, f0 u, u u2, 1 minus 1 gamma, since in momentary inertial frames, one has four force F equals zero, F zero, and four acceleration A equals zero, a zero. Equation for A produces the Newtonian relation F zero equals MA zero. Therefore, three A for C, five A can be summarized by that. The apparent contradiction in the historical definitions of transverse mass M uptack can be explained. Einstein, 1905. Describe the relation between three acceleration and proper force M uptack EINST EIN equals F Y zero A Y equals F C zero Z equals M gamma two. While Lawrence, 1899, 1904, and Planck, 1906, describe the relation between three acceleration and three force M uptack L O R E N T Z equals F Y A Y equals F Z A. Z equals M gamma. Curved world lines by integration of the equations of motion one obtains the curved world lines of accelerated bodies corresponding to a sequence of momentary inertial frames. Here, the expression curve is related to the form of the world lines in Minkowski diagrams, which should not be confused with curved spacetime of general relativity. In connection with this, the so-called clock hypothesis of clock postulate has to be considered. The proper time of commoving clocks is independent of acceleration, that is, the time dilation of these clocks as seen in an external inertial frame only depends on its relative velocity with respect to that frame. Two simple cases of curved world lines are now provided by integration of equation. 3a, for proper acceleration. a, hyperbolic motion. The constant longitudinal proper acceleration alpha equals x0 equals x gamma 3 by 3a leads to the world line. The world line corresponds to the hyperbolic equation C4 slash alpha 2 equals X plus C2 slash alpha 2 minus C2 T2, from which the name hyperbolic motion is derived. These equations are often used for the calculation of various scenarios of the twin paradox or Bell's spaceship paradox, or in relation to space travel using constant acceleration. B. The constant transverse proper acceleration a y0 equals a y gamma 2 by 3a can be seen as a centripetal acceleration, leading to the world line of a body in uniform rotation where v equals r omega 0 is the tangential speed, r is the orbital radius, omega 0 is the angular velocity as a function of coordinate time, and omega equals gamma omega 0 as the proper angular velocity. A classification of curved world lines can be obtained by using the differential geometry of triple curves, which can be expressed by space-time Frenet-Serret formulas. In particular, it can be shown that hyperbolic motion and uniform circular motion are special cases of motions having constant curvatures and torsions, satisfying the condition of Born rigidity. A body is called Born rigid 
if the space-time distance between its infinitesimally separated world lines or points remains constant during acceleration. Accelerated reference frames instead of inertial frames, these accelerated motions and curved. World lines can also be described using accelerated or curvilinear coordinates. The proper reference frame established that way is closely related to Fermi coordinates. For instance, the coordinates for an hyperbolically accelerated reference frame are sometimes called Rindler coordinates, or those of a uniformly rotating reference frame are called rotating cylindrical coordinates, or sometimes Born coordinates. In terms of the equivalence principle, the effects arising in these accelerated frames are analogous to effects in a homogeneous, fictitious gravitational field. In this way, it can be seen that the employment of accelerating frames in SR produces important mathematical relations, which, when further developed, play a fundamental role in the description of real, inhomogeneous gravitational fields in terms of curved space-time and general relativity. History for further information, see Von Lau, Pauli, Miller, Zahar, Gurgulhan, and the historical sources and history of special relativity. 1899. Hendrik Lorentz derived the correct, up to a certain factor epsilon, relations for accelerations, forces and masses between arresting electrostatic systems of particles S0 in a stationary ether, and a system S emerging from it by adding a translation, with K as the Lorentz factor. 1 epsilon 2. 1k epsilon 2, 1k epsilon 2 for f slash f0 by 5a, 1k 3 epsilon, 1k 2 epsilon, 1k 2 epsilon for a slash a 0 by 3a, k3, epsilon, k epsilon, k epsilon for f slash ma, thus longitudinal and transverse mass by for c. Lawrence explained that he has no means of determining the value of epsilon. If he had set epsilon equals 1, his expressions would have assumed the exact relativistic form. 1904. Lawrence derived the previous relations in a more detailed way, namely with respect to the properties of particles resting in the system sigma and the moving system sigma, with the new auxiliary variable L equal to 1 slash epsilon compared to the one in 1899. Thus, F sigma equals L2 L2k L2k F sigma for f as a function of f0 by 5a. mj sigma equals L2. L2k. L2k. mj sigma. For ma as a function of ma0 by 5b. j sigma equals LK3. LK2. LK2j sigma. For as a function of a 0 by 3a. m sigma equals K3l. KL. KL. m sigma for longitudinal and transverse mass as a function of the rest mass by for C, 5b. This time, Lorentz could show that L equals 1, by which his formulas assume the exact relativistic form. He also formulated the equation of motion F equals dg dt, with G equals E26 pi C2, or KLW, which corresponds to for D, with F equals dp dt equals D, m gamma u, dt, with L equals 1, F equals F, G equals P, W equals U, K equals gamma, and E2 slash 6 pi C2 R equals M as electromagnetic rest mass. Furthermore, he argued that these formulas should not only hold for forces and masses of electrically charged particles, but for other processes as well, so that the Earth's motion through the ether remains undetectable. 1905. Henri Poincaré introduced the transformation of three force for E x1 equals K L3 rho rho, x1 plus epsilon sigma x1 psi, y1 equals rho rho y1 L3, z1 equals rho rho z1 L3 with rho rho equals K L3, 1 plus epsilon psi, and K as the Lorentz factor, rho the charge density, or in modern notation, epsilon equals V, psi equals UX, x1, y1, z1 equals f, and sigma x1 psi equals fu. As Lawrence, he said L equals 1. 1905. Albert Einstein derived the equations of motions on the basis of his special theory of relativity, which represent the relation between equally valid inertial frames without the action of a mechanical ether. Einstein concluded that in a momentary inertial frame, k the equations of motion retain their Newtonian form. 
mu d2 psi d tau 2 equals epsilon x, mu d2 a to d tau 2 equals epsilon y, mu d2 zeta d tau 2 equals epsilon z. This corresponds to f0 equals m a0, because mu equals m and d2 psi d tau 2, d2 a to d tau 2, d2 zeta d tau 2, equals a zero and epsilon x, epsilon y, epsilon z, equals f0. By transformation into a relatively moving system, K he obtained the equations for the electrical and magnetic components observed in that frame. D2 x DT2 equals epsilon mu 1 beta 3 x. D2 y DT2 equals epsilon mu 1 beta y minus VVN. D2 z DT2 equals epsilon mu 1 beta z plus VVM. This corresponds to 4C with a equals FM 1 gamma 3 1 gamma 1 gamma, because mu equals m and d2x dt2, d2y dt2, d2z dt2 equals a and epsilon x, epsilon y minus vvn, epsilon z plus vvm equals f and beta equals gamma. Consequently, Einstein determined the longitudinal and transverse mass, even though he related it to the force epsilon x, epsilon y, epsilon z equals f0 in the momentary. Rest frame measure the BYA equal moving spring balance. And in system K, mi vita 3 d v o x d t v o x x, mi vita v o d v o a d t v o vita. Why v mi vita v o d v o z d t v o vita. Z j v v m, z mi n a v v v o. Three lines at the mas mi n a v v v o transverse mas this corresponds to p d b with m a gamma three gamma v o. Gamma V O F N A Gamma Gamma F Mi Vin. 1905. Poincaré introduces the transformation of three acceleration. One C D psi D T equals D psi D T one K three mu three D A to D T equals D A to D T one. K two mu two minus D psi D T A to epsilon K two mu three D zeta D T equals D zeta D T one K two mu two minus D psi D T zeta epsilon K two mu three where psi eta zeta equals u as well as k equals gamma and epsilon equals v and mu equals one plus psi epsilon equals one plus u x v. Furthermore, he introduced the four force in the form k zero x one, k zero y one, k zero z one, k zero t one, where k zero equals gamma zero and x one y one z one equals f and T1 equals sigma x1 psi equals fu. 1906. Max Planck derived the equation of motion m x1 minus q2 c2 equals e x minus e x c2, x e x plus y e y plus z e z, plus e c, y h z minus, z h y, etc. With e, x e x plus y e y plus z e z, equals m, x x plus y y plus z z. 1 minus Q2C2, 3 slash 2, and EEX plus EC, YHZ minus ZHY, equals X, etc. And DDT BIM, X1 minus Q2C2 equals X, etc. The equations correspond to 4D, with F equals DP, DT equals D, M gamma U, DT equals M gamma 3, a UUC2 plus M gamma A, with X equals FX and Q equals V, and XX plus Y, Y plus ZZ equals UA, in agreement with those given by Lawrence, 1904. 1907. Einstein analyzed a uniformly accelerated reference frame and obtained formulas for coordinate dependent time dilation and speed of light, analogous to those given by Kotler Muller Inler coordinates. 1907. Hermann Minkowski defined the relation between the four force, which he called the moving force, and the four acceleration m d d tau dx d tau equals r x. MD D tau D Y D tau equals R Y. MD D tau D Z D tau equals R Z. MD D tau D T D tau equals R T corresponding to M A equals F. 1908. Minkowski denotes the second derivative X, Y, Z, T with respect to proper time as acceleration vector for acceleration. He showed that its magnitude at an arbitrary point P of the world line is C2 slash rho where rho is the magnitude of a vector directed.
from the center of the corresponding curvature hyperbola, German, Krummungsperbel, to P. 1909. Max Born denotes the motion with constant magnitude of Minkowski's acceleration vector as hyperbolic motion, German, Hyperbelbewegen, in the course of his study of rigidly accelerated motion. He set P equals dx slash d tau, now called proper velocity, and Q equals minus dt slash d tau equals 1 plus P2 slash C2 as Lorentz factor and tau as proper time, with the transformation equations x equals minus Q psi, y equals eta, z equals zeta, t equals PC2 psi, which corresponds to 6a, with psi equals C2 slash alpha and P equals C sin, alpha tau slash C. Eliminating P born derived the hyperbolic equation x2 minus C2t2 equals psi2 and defined the magnitude of acceleration as B equals C2 slash psi. He also noticed that his transformation can be used to transform into a hyperbolically accelerated reference system, German, hyperbolic Beschleinite's Bezik system. 1909. Gustav Herglotz extends Born's investigation to all possible cases of rigidly accelerated motion, including uniform rotation. 1910. Arnold Sommerfeld brought Born's formulas for hyperbolic motion in a more concise form with L equals ICT as the imaginary time, variable, and phi as an imaginary angle. X equals or cosine phi, Y equals Y, Z equals Z, L equals or sine phi. He noted that when R, Y, Z are variable and phi is constant, they describe the world line of a charged body in hyperbolic motion. But if R, Y, Z are constant and phi is variable, they denote the transformation into its rest frame. 1911. Sommerfeld explicitly used the expression proper acceleration, German, Eigenbeskleinigung, for the quantity v0 in v equals v0, 1 minus beta 2, 3 slash 2, which corresponds to 3a, as the acceleration in the momentary inertial frame. 1911. Herglotz explicitly used the expression rest acceleration, German, Rubischlinigung instead of proper acceleration. He wrote it in the form gamma L0 equals beta 3 gamma L and gamma T0 equals beta 2 gamma T, which corresponds to 3A, where beta is the Lorentz factor and gamma L0 or gamma T0 are the longitudinal and transverse. Components of rest acceleration. 1911. Max von Lau derived in the first edition of his monograph, Das Relativitätsprinzip, the transformation for three acceleration by differentiation of the velocity addition qx equals cc2 minus v2c2 plus vqx, 3qx, qy equals cc2 minus v2c2 plus vqx, 2qx minus vqy, qx c2 plus vqx, equivalent to 1c, as well as to Poincaré. 1905-6. From that he derived the transformation of rest acceleration, equivalent to 3A, and eventually the formulas for hyperbolic motion which corresponds to 6A plus or minus QX equals plus or minus DX DT equals CBT C2 plus B. 2T2 plus or minus X minus X0 equals CBC2 plus B2T2. Thus, x2 minus c2t2 equals x2 minus u2 equals c4 slash b2, y equals eta, z equals zeta, and the transformation into a hyperbolic reference system with imaginary angle phi. x equals r cosine phi l equals r sine phi, r2 equals x2 plus l2 tan phi equals lx. He also wrote the transformation of three forces kx equals kx plus vc2 qk, 1 plus vqx c2, KY equals KY1 minus beta 2 1 plus VQX C2. KZ equals KZ. 1 minus beta 2 1 plus VQX C2. Equivalent to free. As well as to Poincaré. 1905. 1912 to 1914. Friedrich Kotler obtained general covariance of Maxwell's equations and used four dimensional Frenet serif formulas to analyze the Born rigid motions given by Herglotz. 1909. He also obtained the proper reference frames for hyperbolic motion and uniform circular motion. 1913. Von Lau replaced in the second edition of his book the transformation of three acceleration by Minkowski's acceleration vector, for which he coined the name for acceleration, German, Vierbeskunigo, defined by y equals dy d tau, with y as for velocity. 
He showed that the magnitude of four acceleration corresponds to the rest acceleration Q0 by Y equals 1 C Q0, which corresponds to 3B. Subsequently, he derived the same formulas as in 1911 for the transformation of rest acceleration and hyperbolic motion and the hyperbolic reference frame.